Hello, I'm Lisa, pro makeup artist, and today we're going to play with a box of tricks. This lovely, very generous box was sent through from Lancome Beauty um, to celebrate, oops, the BAFTAs. So I've rifled through it and I've chosen some bits and we're going to do a full face of just Lancome, which I don't think I've ever done before of Lancome anyway. So let's pin everything back. Let's do, you know, red carpet inspired kind of makeup. I mean, just for just for a casual wear in my sense of the word. Look at me, like I'm wearing a jumper. I should be wearing some grandioso, amazing outfit, but I'm not anyway. Mmm. Cup of tea sorts everything out. Anyway, if you're new here, hello. I'm Lisa, a pro makeup artist, and um, we're gonna have a little play. So I like to kind of start off the base. I've already prepped my skin earlier on this morning. I've got a few different concealers here and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be doing with them as I'm going through. And by the way, all my videos are um, unedited. They are raw. Just trying to figure out which one's lighter out of these two. I think it's this one. <clears throat> and they're totally unedited because I don't know about you, and that unfiltered FYI, I don't know about you, but I find beauty, well, social media consumption is exhausting as it is. This is the Lancome Tint Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I think these shades are a little bit dark for me, but hey ho. We can make it work. And it's quite exhausting watching all these like highly sped up. I know when I do it for like TikTok and Reels and all that stuff, but it's because you kind of have to. Anyway, so that's why I've played around this year, 2023, doing a completely like uncut edit. So you get it all in. Sometimes my camera decides to switch off for no reason um but apart from that it's all it's all real i i kind of keep everything in unless it majorly needs to come out so you get to enjoy it in this kind of cathartic way you know you could be making your dinner you could be just watch me on the big screen hey mum i've made it <laughs> um but yeah it's quite a nice little way to enjoy something a little bit more slowly and a bit more in depth so i'm just while i've popped on my concealer just kind of where needed it oh i need it there as well and i'm just using the brow product here in uh number three i would actually normally go blonder with the color like a dark blonde through my brows rather than a brown I find that it just looks a bit more softer and a bit more flattering. Anyway, I feel a bit giddy and excited because today we finally um, have this report back from... Our house got flooded, by the way, for context, um, a few months ago with sewage water. Disgusting. And it's still being dealt with the insurance. And at the same time as all this is happening, uh, we were about to start a renovation. We were meant to start this week and we haven't been able to because this isn't resolved yet with the insurance. So it's super frustrating when you've got people on the line waiting for you. Anyway, today this contractor was messing us around a little bit. Um, turns out they just forgot to press send on the report. Great. They'd sat there for like a week and a half and I was like, Anyway, it's been sent off to the loss adjuster. Let me know if you want a separate video, like chatting about the house, the plans, what we're gonna do. If that's interesting to you, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, let's get back to makeup. So I like to draw a few dots of makeup on. So the concealer, when I say makeup. And now, because I've got a well hydrated base, Everything's just gonna blend beautifully. And this is a gorgeous Lancome brush that I never knew they did. I love these sorts of dense brushes. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get the brightness I'd quite like on the skin, 
just from the colours of the products because I do want to keep it all Lancome. Or maybe I just need to tan. Gosh. I want a holiday. <laughs> so badly. Okay. Yeah, it's bizarre because they've sent these two shades which sort of on the box had the same number on this. Slightly different tones. One's a bit more yellow and one's a bit more pink. But they're like very similar and it's like if I was sending a mailer out I'd probably send something a bit more like paler so you can at least mix. But anyway. So I'm going to the BAFTAs. <laughs> My award is just being fabulous, but you can see the coverage on that concealer is pretty decent. I like to keep things quite lightweight. I think this foundation is gonna be way too dark. Oh no, there we go. We can get a bit of brightness through this. This is the Tinty Doll Ultra Wear. Like I do hear good things about their complexion products and their pigment products, but I love, I think they're really known for their mascara. So I'm just applying a very lightweight bit. And this has a very distinct smell, like it's quite makeupy, is the only way I can describe it. It's like if you saw your grandmother when you were younger, you know, she had that makeup smell or auntie. This is the smell. So, I use a bigger brush just to smooth everything over. And in real life, this is a little bit warm for me. But that's okay. It's not an insanely heavy coverage, so it doesn't really matter. But it's funny, because I think on camera, it still reads quite an okay colour. So it's probably a bit more of a matte texture than I would normally go for, but it looks really beautiful. It's dried down really nicely. It's covering fairly well, even though I put a small layer of product on. It's definitely oxidizing a little bit as it dries, which isn't a bad thing. It's just good information to know. And it's got this kind of beautiful powdery sort of finish to it. which I think for a special do is lovely because it gives you that long wear. Right, let's move on. So I don't have a contour or a bronzer product. So I thought let's just use the slightly deeper um, concealer. <clears throat> well, that around the nose, um, this one smells quite like alcoholy plastic it's quite a smell it's quite a distinctive smell and then we're just going to blend that in and by adding this little bit of definition and warmth in places I mean I'd say it mimics a bit more of a bronzer than it does a contour because of the tone of colour but it just gives that little bit more definition I also recently had a skin boosting treatment, which is where um, a skin booster is injected under your skin. It is quite painful. Uh, numbing products are involved. But see how that contour right in there just makes all the difference to kind of like pull the focus in on the face. <sighs> um, Do, 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 do. I'm just going to leave a bit of product on that just to completely dry down and why I leave it to dry down is that all the moisture kind of gets absorbed by the skin or the environment you're in so you're left with a bit more coverage so I'm just going to leave it but I'm not going to forget about it I'm going to come back to it um, <clears throat> so yes I had it's called um, 70 Hyal treatment and it's been really amazing it's been just made my skin kind of very 
plumped and I had quite a lot of redness on my cheek like bumpy sort of redness uh, it wasn't necessarily an irritation but something wasn't happy in it so and it's really helped that it's definitely gone down and it's just lifted my skin and this helps to boost the collagen in the skin <clears throat> so the next product I'm going for is a Lancome Le Stilo Waterproof um, this is a retractable coal. I've not used one of these types of pencils in a very long time. And I've got quite a specific shape in mind for the eye. Ooh, this is very creamy. Which is lovely. Yeah, because I want to do this makeup quite reminiscent of almost the 90s, using a lot of negative space. And actually saying that, I better blend this sort of straight away these types of products they're very creamy but once they set they really set I'm using the little dauby dauber on the end and I'm gonna leave this bit of negative space so you get this kind of gorgeous sootiness hugging the eye this kind of smoky eye that we were seeing in the 90s and 2000s as well I've got this fantastic Mac trend book which I must get out so I used to work for Mac for about 10 years and I was a trainer at Mac teaching people for a very long time and you've got these fantastic archive kind of books that basically broke all the trends down and we have oh there's just some amazing trends from like fashion week they did like a summary and it's just really fantastic. I will have to, I say dig it out. I think it's like in the corner, but I'm not gonna do it now. But see how that on its own, you could just put a clear powder on it. Gorgeous, it's super sexy and it's quick. And you can even use your finger just to take away the edge is a bit more like when my eyes are open, you don't see a huge amount of lid space. So if you've got a bigger lid space, this will be a bit more dramatic for you. I'm gonna do that on the other side. I'm taking it right at the root of the lash. And what's nice about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. But what I would say as a word of, oh, I've just smushed the end of the pencil. I tried to put it in the wrong lid. Um, is that less is more. It's easy with cream to remove and take off, but it's you'd be surprised at how far a bit of blending goes with a bit of product. And on this inner corner, I'm sort of going up a bit more to create a bit more roundness and openness where it's quite closed naturally on me on that inner corner this is the beauty about doing makeup it's like you're an architect and you can just play and manipulate change things about yourself but also still very much be you Very noisy vehicles around today. I mean, we are opposite a main road, so. Where we go? Oh my god, I keep trying to put it. <laughs> I've got two lids and I keep trying to put it in the wrong one. Oh, there we go. So I'm keeping this quite tight. I'm not doing big round blending motions I'm keeping it tight and when it comes to this bigger brush that's when I get a bit bigger because I'm trying to almost erase what's there so I'm doing a back and forth so that's me trying to control the product and then this is me smushing it oh my god yummy oh love it and what's nice is that you can just use your finger to edit I feel like I've gone a bit darker on this side. Oh, no, no, no. 
did that in either. I was like, why does my lip look really big all of a sudden? <sighs> because you put bronzer underneath it and you didn't blend it. Okay. So again, I'm just gonna wipe my finger that excess. And we wanna keep that negative space because that's what's creating the illusion of like light on the eye. And the, the shape I'm doing isn't sort of directly straight, it's sort of going off, sort of, it would meet under the brow. And so now we're gonna add a bit of powder to this. I mean, I'm not a fan of the, the brushes that ever come in this. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. We don't need that extra plastic because not many people use them. This is the Hypnose palette, the Bronze Absolute number 17. And I'm gonna start with this th 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 the fourth color, I can count on the outer oh my god this is hilarious so obviously they've got a generic um thing here so this is the base color the upper lid touch of light this is apparently the highlighter color i mean you'd have to be a very very dark skin tone for that to be a highlight and even then it's probably still a bit too dark for a highlight this is your liner <laughs> i think that needs to be edited on this one lancome what I'm going to do is pop that brown on the outer corner and what you're going to create is this oh, uh, it's so pretty um, this beautiful rich depth colour depth of colour I should say whereby it it's like and this is not going to be like an attractive description but you know when you get something on fire like a burnt cigarette or something and you get that singedness so you get this really black depth and then you get this beautiful burnt brown and you know maybe a little bit of warmth and a little bit of orange and as that umber kind of like burns away so this just gives it that cool as hell edge and this is the smoky eye I love to sort of do how nice is that I'm just gonna keep building that Steps. They're doing very kind of small wiggly motions. But isn't that gorgeous? It's very simple. I feel like I need another brush. I need to clean a load of brushes. I can use this brush just to direct things a little bit more. And then I can actually be a bit more, because this brush is much bigger in size than this, I can just be a bit more intentional with a slightly smaller brush now, just to get that richness of tone. So I was like, mm, what makeup do I do? And I did a poll and a lot of people wanted to see when I unbox this on stories to see like a full face of Lancome. So you ask, I deliver. They're always happy to take your feedback. And if you've got any suggestions, I know there's like quite a few videos I probably need to do, but trying to enjoy it and be a bit more intentional with it. 
Oh yum, and then I'm gonna go in with that really dark color now. And the pigment in this is lovely. I'm keeping the motions a bit smaller. It's a tiny V I'm doing. So you're getting this beautiful um, transition of colour. a tiny bit on the inner corner again in that sort of upward motion and still we've got this lovely kind of negative space left like a flash of untouchedness I mean here we could add like a little I think I might do this second one, although I just really like it as is, to be honest. Sometimes it is just nice to get your finger in there, but it just gives it a bit more of a contrast. And I guess this kind of, because of the placement and how we're putting it on, looks like a, a bit of a wet look gloss type thing. I'm just going to buff a bit of the edges in with the brush. I don't mind it being slightly harsher. But isn't that yummy? Isn't that yummy? I think that's done the eye makeup. The eye makeup. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> so it's dried down enough yet. I'm just going to use the big brush just to... Yeah. See how that just left it to dry down there's no blushes in this set actually which is interesting um i'm just going to go because sometimes when you put eyeliner on initially you sort of blink it and it wears a little bit so actually normally if i'm with a client at the end of an appointment i'll always do a bit more black just to top it up And that just gives it a bit more intensity um and then mascara i've curled my lashes already where's my mascara i love this mascara the idol mascara so i really work it at the root focusing on the direction of growth can't wait to show you what lip I've got in mind to pair with this there's actually no blushes in this set um, so I'm gonna use a bit of the lipstick as a blush and as my eyes are closed I'm sort of pressing it on so I get a tiny bit of product dispersal on the bottom as well so pretty I'm really focusing on fanning the lashes out oh I just got a blob of mascara on the inner corner oh. My camera does this thing. If any of you can help and know what I do to press, but it, it basically just stops filming. And it's not because the batteries, I mean, I know this happens, the battery sometimes does die. Um, the space on the memory card. What it? What is it doing? Am I boring my camera? Like, I don't know. 
I don't know. Right, I'm just going to get a Q-tip just to flick off because I don't think that's like very much on the skin yet. Such a light motion. This is so yummy. Let me know if you'd wear this, but mm, this is my vibe. Okay, so this is still brand new in the box. The lipstick is French Cashmere. Their lipsticks, if you're not familiar with them, are beautiful. So they, you press the little button on top and it pops out the bottom. Oh my gosh, that is such a different colour to what I thought it would be. Maybe it's just the light I'm in. I think my eyes just needed adjusting. I looked on camera, I was like, well, it's really bright there. And it was like really bright in the box. <laughs> it's quite a good match, actually. So I'm going to look that colour on the inside of the lip because I want this to be a real, a real blur of colour. And if taking what's on the inside and blurring it on the outside. I'm going to just dragging it. Because I don't want this lipstick as like 100%. I want it like as a stain. Just remember, someone's asked about um, a lip video on something. I'm going to have to check what it is. I love that. A lip video on something. Wow, Lisa. All the descriptions of everything, by the way, are listed below. I'm gonna blur that edge ever so slightly on the top. And now I'm gonna take a bit of color on the heel of my hand, just to give me a little bit of color on the cheek. rub it I'm going quite low with this so it's kind of just beyond the nostril and sort of just to give it it's like helps to tie everything in there you go that was really nice and good I've not got a powder either so let's just use whatever is in here. There was a highlighter but it was much too dark for me. It'll be really good for when I'm tanned. It'll just look like an orange mess for now. So I'm leaving a bit of this like unpowdered powder under the cheek to change the texture. There we go. I feel like I've got fur on my nose. Oh, here it is. Sometimes it can be like, not in the place you think it is. Damn, this is looking good. This was fun, man. Let me know if you enjoyed this little face full of, and let me know what other products you would like to see a face full of videos but i'll come up nice and close so you can see the detail i love it question is what dress would i wear i wouldn't be wearing a zara jumper <laughs> i mean i think this would look cool with like quite um i can't remember the designer but this is amazing like not sequins but they're like long not droplets but they're sort of oblongy things that are really sparkly so maybe that could look quite cool like in like a deep really deep black grey like low cut on the front and quite long yeah <laughs> maybe in another life I'll get to experience the run with the red carpet directly 
and be on there, dress up and everything. God, wouldn't that be fun? Ah, oh, need to make it happen then, don't I? Anyway, there you have it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me know if you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more regular daily content, head over to my Instagram, my TikTok. Because there's a hell of a lot more regularly going on there throughout the week. And yeah, hit subscribe if you're not already. And big love. Bye.